I think the definition of beauty is probably very individual. It depends on you. But uh, my definition of beauty, for instance, is, uh, is something very simple. It can express something very complex. But it's not stable, for sure. I mean, I always had a big love for crystals and, of course, snowflakes is a part of that. Maybe more from a metaphorical background, because uh, I always describe the way how I work, in a way how a crystal is growing, that you need some kind of irritation, some dust or something what irritates you, to, and then things start growing but you don't know how the, the, it will look like in the end. And you don't know uh, what shape it will have, but it follows a certain rule. And that's, of course, uh, fantastic. It follows something, and it's absolutely individual in the end. There's no... A snow, a snowflake or a snow crystal doesn't exist twice. You have to concentrate on a really tiny little snowflake and I want to have it so, let's say, so minimalistic and so less expressive as possible. So white table and the, the containers, the plexiglass tubes and uh, there is a sound component in the piece as well where I composed a sound piece. It, it changes a little bit environment. It's not really a massive piece. You don't hear it really, but, but uh, I wanted to have a specific acoustic environment or changing the environment, rather acoustic, just changing a little bit the environment that you feel different as the space outside. So, of course, just the, the way how it's presented, it, it looks a little bit like a laboratory, of course. Yeah, it has a kind of laboratory feeling. I always liked that idea that you can grow your own crystal. As I said earlier, each crystal is already different. But that you have the feeling that you grow it for, that is growing for, for you, that you kind of starting the process. In many of my pieces, I try to avoid the interaction to the audience. But in this piece, I thought it's really. I think I think it's a it's a it's a great process, but uh, but I would love to share, and I would like to start myself always. So I'm really curious about that process. And as I said, the, the growing a snow crystal is not just a scientific idea. It's it's as well for me. It's a very metaphorical moment. Yeah, it's like a poem a little bit. Yeah. The process of writing down a poem is only one part, you read the poem and let's say the words on the paper is not a poem. I think you need to read it and to uh, interpret it or to make your interpretation about it and that's not happening on the paper. When you talk about the missing, maybe a missing idea of handwriting, like I think this is for me, uh, for instance, a quite important uh, decision to say, does the artist need a handwriting in these days? And actually, 
I don't think we need a, ha a handwriting so much anymore because I, I love the idea that nature can execute the final result. Maybe I only have to provide the right context, the right technical setting, and that's the reason I'm very careful with the setting. Because I only can create that process that nature executes things for me when I have the right setting.